welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my Partners in Cream update for you. This is a painting project that was created by Stefan Delin. Those beautiful ladies are going to be listed down below. This is in, I believe, the fourth year. You know, I can never remember these things. All of the details are going to be down in the description box. This project was originally started because your products, your makeup products that have a higher moisture content will go off faster. They'll go bad faster. Um, they'll dry out what all the bad things that you don't want to happen to your liquid cream gel type products basically this was for any makeup product that was not powder because you know they they go bad faster so that was the original idea behind it i know some other people have put other things in it and you know that's really cool but i would like to stay true to the original intent of this project so all of mine is makeup related and i want to say it was three to six products Something like that I can't remember close to that I have in six products and I have some rolling out this time which I'm very happy for but let me give you the dates it started on January 10th it will go till December 10th we'll basically have a month off I'm pretty sure it's coming back next year it is insanely popular so I can't imagine that it wouldn't be coming back but I don't think anything has been mentioned about that just yet all right, so I am going to show you my three products that are rolling out. I will show you what is continuing on and what I am bringing in. So the first three things that are rolling out, this is from the Profusion Eyes Palette. It is a gel liner, and I just wanted to hit pan. I actually did that today. These are really very easy to hit pan on. Hopefully it will show in the camera. It's... It's really hard to tell because the black smudges on the pan and sometimes it doesn't pick up quite as well but I have hit pan on this one so this is going to go back into my collection to be panned fully at a later date next up well, I have two actually skin tints one is from Bobbi Brown one is from Hourglass I wanted to have 10 uses on each of these which I have done and the first one is the Bobbi Brown I really like this one, but I feel like it is too light for me right now. And I feel like it is also maybe just a little too emollient for, you know, mid 90s to 100 degree weather. So this is going to be definitely more of a winter shade and formula for me, but I did like it. Next is the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. I really liked this as well. I didn't feel quite as out of season with this one. It is definitely a, a lighter, sheer coverage than like your average foundation but it is a skin tint and I just want a lighter coverage sometimes and this was really nice for that so I really liked both of these products they are going back into my collection and I will work on them like I said at a later date sometimes I just want certain usage just to try out a new product that I've gotten in and that's basically why I put those both in for 10 uses all right I have three products that are going to be continuing on the first one is from Glow Recipe. This one, I, I can't believe I haven't hit pan on this yet, but again, it is because most likely I have to use either my finger or a brush to put this on, and that's just, that's not my thing. It's beautiful though, I absolutely love it. It is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Balm Gloss. It's a lot of tongue twisting words. It is really nice, and I am making a bit of a divot in there, but we are not anywhere near pan or jar in this case so you can see just how deep it is and I actually have another one of these coming to me through PR and I'm not mad about it like I said it is very lovely it's just that whole in a jar thing which this kind of formula wouldn't work in a stick because it is too soft but yeah gotta take the good with the bad all right moving on to the Bobbi Brown pot rouge in velvet plum you can use this on your cheeks or on your lips i've only used it on my cheeks thus far it is very creamy but i love it it looks extremely dark and yes it is i am wearing it right now i like it i like it a whole lot i might use it on my lips at a later date but right now i'm enjoying it as a blush and as crazy as this color looks in the pan it feels really nice on so i'm just going to keep working on it i'm attempting to hit pan on it I don't know that that's going to happen before the end of this project on December 10th, but I'm going to enjoy it between now and then. So that is staying in. 
And another one that's staying in, but probably not for long, is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot. And this is in the shade Back to Basics. It is a bronzy tone. I use this sometimes as a base, sometimes as an eyeshadow. It just depends. It is super creamy, and I have had this many, 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 many years. I don't even know that they make these anymore. I'm attempting to hit PM, which I'm going in kind of like at an angle. And I'm almost there, but I, I don't want this to be, I'm smooshing all the product over to one side in order to say I hit pan. I want to like use my product and actually hit pan on it that way. I just struggled with getting my brush in it when I was working on a different color, when I went down to the center, which is what I normally would do to hit pan. So that's why I'm attempting to do it through the side. I'm just gonna keep working on it. Odds are pretty good that I'm gonna have pan on it for the next update, but you never know. I might not feel like working on it and wanna play with something else for a while, but right now I'm enjoying that one a whole lot. So I have three rolling out. I need to roll in three new things, and these are all new to my collection. One of them I got in PR and two were sent to me by my friend Misty. The first one is a mascara, and I'm rolling this in not I don't normally roll mascaras in. It's not unheard of for me, but sometimes when you have a lot of projects going on, you kind of make do with what you have and it's not going to be a super big conflict. And I needed to roll in a mascara, so this is the perfect project for it. It is the Benefit Fan Fest. I've used this two or three times. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. I don't know if it's the absolute best mascara I've ever tried, but it is... It is right up there with some of the best ones that I've used. I enjoy it quite a bit, and I'm hoping I might be able to finish this by December 10th, but if it's not finished by then, I'm not gonna cry about it because I really like it, so there's that. And then I have two ColourPop products. This first one is the ColourPop Super Shock Blush. It is a matte blush in virtual reality. I'm working on the blush from Bobbi Brown, which is definitely a more cool toned and it is a bit deeper, darker. So I wanted to go with something slightly different. This has some peachy undertones. I don't know if it's coming across in the um, camera, the same peachiness that it looks like to me, but I think this is going to be a really good shade match for me for when I am doing warmer looks. So I would like to hit pan on that which is super, super pretty. And let's see, this one is the Jelly Much from the Villains Collection, the Disney Villains Collection in this shade Spindle. Looks like that. I have somewhat revived it, but I haven't tested it yet and might need just a little bit more contact solution. But I think this is gonna look really nice with a lot of the purples that I'm currently working on. So I am putting this in for just 10 uses. I can always keep it in if I decide that I want to, but 10 uses and then I can just like rotate through some of the new stuff that Misty sent me because I want to play. It's lots of good things and I want to play with them. So three rolling out, three staying in, three rolling in. It's threes. I, I Clearly I have a thing for threes. I have three kids. I was born in the third month. Two of my three kids were born in the third month with me and my third kid was born on the third of September. So yeah, there's a lot of threes going on in my life and yeah, it makes, it makes sense for me. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. It is super late. It is after midnight. I don't know if you can hear, there's a nasty storm going on outside. We've had severe, very severe thunderstorms going on lately. So you know how that goes. All right, before I lose power, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.